Now, I knew these were coming, but until they were here, I couldn't believe the magic. We're going to check them out, although I think they're going to be awesome. And we're going to swap out four massive, big, old lead-acid batteries in favor of these little lightweight gems. Let's have a look at them. Some lovely documentation. The post bolts. Will you look at that beauty? I am so excited about these. Now there are lots of reasons you might consider going to a lead time uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. And the, the reasons are numerous. They're much lighter, they're much higher energy density, they're zero maintenance, they have a lot of duty cycles. And we'll get into all the specs in a little while. But one of the main reasons, at least for me, that they were incredibly valuable is the lack of maintenance. Where I had to keep the lead acid batteries on this boat was in a rather difficult to access spot and regular maintenance means watering them at least every three months. And well, keeping up on that, it's a bit of work, especially if they're difficult to get to. With lead time lithium iron phosphate batteries, that is a thing of the past. Plus, you can keep tabs on them on your phone through the smart Bluetooth feature that they have. Okay, all that aside, we're gonna get into all the specs in a little bit, but I do wanna point out that this series of videos is my thoughts on. I can only tell you how these batteries affect me. If you want to dive really deep into an in-depth uh, review, there's lots of stuff online and I can definitely recommend Will Prowse's website because he savagely tests and dismembers these batteries to make sure they are as good as they claim to be. I'll put a link down below. He has checked many, many of the lead time batteries and they perform very, very well. All right, folks, let's have a look at where these batteries are going to go. And that is underneath the two benches and well down below the lowered sole. Just barely fits there. Okay, there's my little friends. There we go. Okay. These four beasts weigh 61 and a half pounds each, weighing in total at 246 pounds. That's pretty heavy. Now, if we're generous, we could credit them with a 230 amp hour capacity. Uh, times four, that would be 920 amp hours. However, they're only six volts, so we have to divide that by two, giving them 460 amp hours, effectively exactly the same as these two lithium iron phosphate batteries from Lytime, which are only 45 pounds a piece, giving a total of 90, almost a quarter of the total weight. Oh wait, you can only draw down lead acid batteries to 50%, which means all four of those red batteries are equivalent to just one of these. Now, getting back to how they're going to affect my life, I need batteries to give me on the boat at least two or three days of energy autonomy off grid, so to speak. Um, now, the boat will have solar and the boat is driven now and then, but with <laughs> shady days and wanting to stay somewhere really nice for a while, I need power and I need enough power to run the lights, but that's a low load. The refrigeration, a higher load, and because I work on my boats all the time, I need to run power tools. So what I'm gonna do for this test for these batteries now is basically go off grid right here in the marina after these batteries are installed and see how long we can carry on doing everyday activities Activities, including some heat at night without having to recharge. Keep in mind, this is twice the capacity I had with that fleet of lead acid batteries before. All right. And here.
yes, 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 yes. Uh, of course, this is a dry fit, um, but I want to get the cables on and get some charge onto these things. A really neat feature of these batteries with the Bluetooth remote is that I can turn off the batteries remotely so that the whole wiring up process is completely safe. Okay, so I'm going to stick this nice little sweet little Blue C ANL fuse right here and it's going to be within seven inches of the post so we'll be in great shape. All right, and I've done just about everything I need to do down here. You will note that, of course, I need to put safety boots on here. These do come with little caps that you can put over the bolts, but of course, that isn't a full safety cover for these, so I'll be setting up some proper boots for that. And there we go, all installed. Now, in terms of setting up the charger to charge the new Time lithium ion phosphate batteries, you have to change some settings on your charger and uh, create a lithium profile for that. And it's not insignificant. You can't just say they're lithium. There are some voltages you have to set. And I can tell you the Bluetooth app that comes with these batteries, this particular set anyway, is invaluable for helping you with that. Now, of course, this gives you the basic information about uh, the current voltage, current and um, uh, power in and out, as well as the capacity remaining. But it also monitors three other things, and that is the balancing. In other words, if the battery is a currency in balancing mode, it, the state of the cells, and most importantly, the state of the BMS, uh, the battery management system. Now, if you want to get into this further, there are other videos that talk about this a lot, and you could also watch my main video. I'll put a link down below where I install these batteries on my boat and the, the full thing on my main show. But suffice to say, you simply have to set some voltages. Uh, that's the charge voltage, and it's very straightforward. There's lots of resources, and again, this is very invaluable in helping you set that up. Of course, it's valuable afterwards for monitoring the basic um, energy that's in the battery and what the batteries are actually doing. All right then, batteries are installed, working fine, fully charged. It's time to put it to the test. We're gonna see if we can go a couple of days without being plugged in here on shore. That's all our lighting, of course, all our computing, all our charging, all our tools, occasionally hair dryer use, the refrigerator, and maybe even a little bit of heat. Let's see how long we can go. This beautiful lead time beast is a 12.8 volt battery with a massive capacity of 230 amp hours. It has a 200 amp continuous uh, discharge or charge capacity. However, you should charge it at somewhat less than that. It's rated for a thousand amps for one second, basically a surge protection, and it weighs in at a scant 46 pounds or 21 kilograms. It also features IP65 water and dust ingress protection. The battery has a host of impressive features. Uh, first amongst, at least for me, is the smart Bluetooth uh, 5.0. And it is so, so fantastic to be able to monitor the battery on your phone. It's rated 6,000 cycles at an 80% depth of discharge, which seems very reasonable. Uh, it's 19.2 inches by 6.69 inches by 9.5. Four, five inches in size. It has a 200 amp BMS, although it's suggested to charge it at 46 amps. It has over 20 safety protocols, including the very, very important low temperature. Well, we're coming into our third day off grid, uh, living solely off the lead time batteries, and they've performed flawlessly, uh, powering all the energy we've normally needed, including <laughs> some tools and at night we even have a heated mattress pad so it has definitely done all the things i asked of it and more they're lovely lovely batteries uh we love them we hope you'd love them too and if that's the case and you'd like to try some in fact i can uh extend to you a coupon code uh peter just my name and it applies to any batteries in the lead time line so if you're interested in trying some of these or some of the other super products that they have uh, use that coupon code and you'll be in good shape. Anyway, we love them. 
as I said, I'd hope you'd love them too.